What is up guys, welcome to another video, another video means another dopamine high because I had to buy something to feel something and today we have another review on our hands. The review in question is Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Imperial Rocket Trooper or Rocket Stormtrooper, whatever is easier for you. This guy is part of the Gaming Greats series, so if you do want to pick this guy up yourself, you can only get him at GameStop for $27.99. After that, you'd have to go to the aftermarket gods of eBay or AliExpress and beg for mercy, but if you do want to get him for retail price, GameStop is the place to go link in the description uh if you do want to get him and with all that said there's not really any lore to go over with this boy so let's get into the review so taking a look at the packaging we have the brand new way that they're going about it being more environmental friendly so we have the figure we have some artwork on the side and then we have another you know photo of the figure and everything that is included and then going over to the back we have a brief description of what he is all about with another nice photo of the figure so with all that said let's open up the box and get into the review so starting off with articulation in the head region you can rotate his head 360 degrees which is always nice to see and then you can have him look up and down a fair amount nothing too bizarre there and then you can have him tilt his head side to side just a little bit and with all that you can get a spherical rotation out of him even with the pauldron on so it's nice to see that he can have a range of motion in his head region, even with the pauldron being there. I know with some figures, the pauldron just kind of ceases all range of motion in the head so it's nice to see here that it doesn't do that and looking at the arms you can bring up his arms a decent amount so very happy to see that there and then you can obviously open up his arms as if you wanted him to give you a hug or <laughs> something like that and i don't really show it here but you can rotate the arms 360 degrees both of them even with the pauldron being there so that's very nice to see even though i'm, I'm didn't record it for whatever reason and then when we get to the elbow bend you can bring his arm up a fair amount nothing too crazy he's not doing shoulder taps but enough to still get a decent range of motion out of him which is always nice to see and then you can rotate the forearm 360 degrees as well for whatever reason you want to do that and then you can rotate the hands 360 degrees and bend the wrist however you please so nice to see that they're still doing that as well so overall fairly happy with the range of motion in the arms no complaints on my end and then for the torso you can rotate it 360 degrees which is always nice to see and you can't get a crunch but you can have them lean back and forth nonetheless so also nice to see that there and you can get that spherical rotation so very happy with the torso range of motion on this figure and finally taking a look at his legs you can have him do honestly maybe 50 percent of a split not a full split but there is a range of motion there nonetheless and then you can have him rotate his legs 360 degrees just be careful with the thigh armor clashing with the waist piece because you don't want to break off any of the things hanging from his belt because those will bend if you do bring up the leg high enough and speaking of bringing up the legs you can have him do that so if you want him to sit in a chair or hang off the side of a cliff you can have him do that as as well and then when going to the knees we do get a pretty decent you know knee bend you know by no means are we getting a butt kick maybe i want to say we're like 60 percent of a butt kick you know you can basically bring up his knees to a point where you can get running poses and whatnot but he's not doing butt kicks by any means and then you can rotate his calves 360 degrees as well and then moving things down to the feet you can rotate them 360 degrees and bend however you please so very happy with the leg articulation on this figure i have no issue with it whatsoever and honestly i have no issues with any of the articulation in any regions of this figure's body so i'm very happy with this figure's overall articulation and with all that said we can move on to the accessory included and here we have the rocket launcher for our rocket trooper the canon name for this is the rps6 i know i'm a big fucking nerd but anyways i think they did a fine job at recreating this i know we don't really get to see it in game like during gameplay but we do get to see it uh in the uh encyclopedia or the thing where you can read about the enemy types of the game uh but i think that this is a fine recreation of the rocket launcher the paint job isn't anything too crazy it's just all one color and i have no complaints really about the visual presentation of this uh weapon 
Uh, so yeah, when it comes to the visual presentation of this figure, I think Hasbro did a good job with this figure, especially in the helmet, getting all the blues, the blacks, and the grays needed, all, and all the details to follow that. I think they did a good job with that. When it comes to the pauldron, that nice red that they got going on really sticks out. It looks good. And all the lines and curves in the pauldron also look really good. The armor, everything looks like it belongs there. Nothing seems out of shape or place. The undersuit looks good. It's got a little wrinkles, a little detailing to give it more life. So overall, I think they did a good job at just recreating the Stormtrooper. Obviously, this isn't the first time that they've done it, but I thought I'd still point out how good of a job they did do. Before we get into further discussion, let's do some size comparisons to put this figure into scale. Starting off with NECA's Big Chap, and then we have NECA's The Shaman from Predator 2. Jazz wears the Spartan collection. Spartan Gunganeer. Jazz wears the World of Halo Halo 3 ODST Rookie. And finally, we have McFarlane's The Doom Slayer. And then here we are at the turntable segment of the video. This is pretty much where I go over what I like, dislike, strengths, weaknesses, pros, cons. Basically, just give my general thoughts and opinions about the figure, give you all something to bounce off of and start a discussion. And you know how I am with this stuff. You all are more than welcome to go down into the comment section below, talk about this stuff. I like talking about this stuff, so I'll most likely reply to your comments. So with all that said, let's get the sour stuff out of the way first. So honestly, I don't think there's anything wrong with the figure itself. I have no issues with articulation, visual presentation, or anything like that. I think that this is a really well-rounded and fine figure. But the only argument I can probably see, the only thing that's probably making some people not want to buy this figure is the fact that this is just another Stormtrooper, and this time he comes with a pauldron and a rocket launcher. Launcher. Some people might not see that worth the $27.99 where they can just take a Stormtrooper they already have, buy a pauldron off of Etsy or eBay for like $2 and then get like a custom 3D printed rocket launcher off of Etsy for like maybe $5 to $10 rather than blowing an entire, you know, $27.99. And if you're doing online shopping, it's more so $27.99 plus like another ten dollars so some people might not see this figure worth the money but obviously here i am reviewing the figure so obviously i bought it seen which shows i don't have an issue buying this figure for the price that it's being sold at but i can just see that being something that some people might care about and then looking at the more positive side of things the exact reasons why i think some people might not want to buy this figure could also be argued are the reasons why people would buy this figure seeing that you know besides this being just a really well-rounded figure looking good and feeling good this is a figure that comes with a weapon that we haven't gotten yet so that might be a selling point for some people and you know who don't just want to buy a rocket launcher individually off of etsy they can just get the rocket launcher from this figure and you'd also have a really well-rounded figure included and also the fact that we don't really see many pauldrons with stormtroopers i know that we're starting to see it a little bit more now but um you know previously their stormtroopers rarely did come with pauldrons so i think that's another thing people uh would want to buy this figure for so you can have like a stormtrooper captain or commander in your collection but yeah that's the only really thing i can see why people would want to buy this figure besides it just being a already well-rounded figure and under the category of to be desired the only thing i could really think of is they should have probably thrown in like an e11 or something you know it costs them pretty much nothing just to make one so you know you just throw it in you know just a little accessory and help and add to the whole value of this figure being an army building figure so do i or do i not recommend this figure the figure itself I think is really well rounded. I think he has great articulation and a great visual presentation, but that pauldron and rocket launcher is what may may make or break the figure for you. You may see it as a reason to buy the figure or you may think it's not enough of a reason to buy the figure because like i said if you already have a stormtrooper and you just want a rocket trooper you can go on etsy quickly buy a 3d printed rocket launcher that someone made because there's a big market in that and then buy a pauldron that someone also 3d printed for maybe 10 to 5 bucks depending on who the person is uh, rather than spending $27.99 on an entirely new figure. But you may be the person who just wants a Stormtrooper figure and then you're just happy that the rocket launcher and the pauldron are included. I will say that we don't get enough Stormtroopers with pauldrons, so it's nice to see that we're getting that now. And you can obviously have this rocket trooper be a commander or captain in your army building endeavors. So yeah, it's kind of a gray area. 
I do recommend it because I am one of the Black Series people who like to collect the troopers and expand them and buy every variant that Hasbro puts out. But yeah, that is my final verdict is some gray area wishy-washy BS. Uh, you're welcome. So please tell me, do you or do you not have this figure already? And if you do, do you like or dislike this figure? And if you don't have this figure, is it for any of the reasons I stated in the video? Uh, if not, you know, go down there. Let me know why. I want to actually talk about this with you guys. I want to get your takes on whether you think this figure is worth buying or not. But with all that said, I do hope you enjoyed the video. A like and a subscription would be awesome awesome uh as when it comes to commenting obviously i want to hear what you guys have to say about this figure in particular and don't worry about the bell we both know that shit is broken and if you want to see more content like this there's plenty of it on the channel i have a handful of black series reviews already up and obviously i do other things like NECA stuff from the predator and alien franchise and i review halo stuff as well and every now and then i'll do something a little bit different but for the most part i review predator alien halo and star wars stuff uh, with more stuff on the way, obviously. So, with all that said, I hope you have a phenomenal day. And please stay hydrated. It's very important.